made good time, Yak. How long you wait? Oh, I got here last night. What'd you find out? Two men gonna hold up stage, Coyote Canyon. Watch money on stage. Well, it looks like we're gonna have our hands full. More trouble, more fun. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. But there's been two sheriffs killed at Little Rock. That's our job to find out who did it. We do them. Well, I reckon we better get started. Beat him to the holder. Gentlemen, I've called this meeting that you may all know Al Davis. He's to be sworn in this afternoon as sheriff of this county. <laughs> Mr. Davis, I feel that we should acquaint you with the fact that this vicinity is being terrorized by a band of outlaws ruled by a man whom they call the Shadow. He's a very clever man. Many traps have been set for him. He's always evaded them. Our cattle are stolen night after night. He has absolutely no regard for human life. Stagecoaches are held up and robbed. And the driver is shot. Get through this time, Dave. Don't look back. Drop that gun and keep driving. You meet me in town. Throw down that tag. You're too late. A lone rider beat you to it. Yeah.
Hey, look, boys. Something's wrong. Doctor, boys, quick. Where can I find Mr. Matlock? He's my uncle. I'll get him for you, miss. Thank you. Oh, miss, you had quite an exciting ride. I certainly did. And gentlemen, wrap up. Wrap uh, up. The stage was held up. Joe was dead and Dave was wounded. There's a girl on the stage claims to be your niece. He's asking for you. I'm Anita, Uncle Matt. My dear, this is certainly a pleasant surprise. So tell us, what has happened? Well, I don't know exactly. I was heading for town when I saw the runaway. I happened to be close, so I caught it. This young lady can probably tell you more than I can. Well, first we were held up by a lone rider. And then shortly after, two men held us up again. And they shot the guard and the driver, and then the horses ran away. And this gentleman caught them. And I'm mighty grateful, too. And so am I. You see, Davis, it's things like this that happen every day. Look, see that smoke? The bullet came straight on, but from where? That's just the way the other man was killed. I reckon this is the end of law and order. Won't nobody run for sheriff now. If it's just the same with you folks, I'll take this job as sheriff. You say you could see the whole street. Uh, me hear shot. Look quick. See no one. Only smoke. It's suddenly mighty strange. Uh. I'm sure those are the umbrellas that held up the stage. Wait here.
for my trail, Yak. I'm going back for the money bags. It's the stage bag. Do you suppose he just found it? I don't know. But here's where we get it. And him, too. Oh, uh, two men follow. Look through glass. Ah, oh, well, I figured as much. Here, take my horse and meet me at the express office. Keep this money. empty. Where did he go? I don't know. Look. I know we got him. He can't get far. Come on, let's find him. Stay here and watch. Reckon the express company will be glad to get this money back.
killed him and saw him pick up the money bags. Park here shot him off his horse, but we couldn't find him. He just rode in town and went to the express office, probably with the doe. This is twice you've gummed things up. Another fluke like this and you two guys keep right. It's ten to one he knows who followed him. So you'd better get back to the hideout and stay there until I send for you. All right, Jack, let's find out where they'll lead us. Loco Frank, he'd cut a man's throat for a dollar. And Flash Burton, a lifer from Walla Walla. And there's Chuck Walla Red. He's wanted in every state on the border. Slippery Williams and Spike Morgan. What a nest of hornets. And Matlock's ranch only two miles away. Wonder if he knows what's near him. Maybe we tell him. No, it might spoil our chances of getting them. Dear, what do you think of the ranch? Oh, fine. But I haven't seen any cattle. There are no cattle. They were all stolen several weeks ago. That's why I've tried to bring law and order to this valley. Seems useless. Three men have been mysteriously shot down. And the outlaw activity continues. Well, can't you appeal to the government? The ranchmen have written repeatedly, but nothing has happened. Well, where is the foreman and your boys? They were in with the rustlers and left with the cattle. And you live here alone? Yes, except for old Jake, the cook. I'm going over to Madlock's. Now you stay here and keep an eye on whoever passes. Circumstances, I think we should try and dispose of this ranch. Or at least let me buy your half. This is certainly no place for a woman. <laughs> well, I quite agree with you there, Uncle Matt. I didn't expect to find it like this. How many for supper, Mr. Matlock? Just the three of us, Jake. Thank you, sir. Oh, here comes someone, Uncle Matt. Well, it's our new sheriff. Come right in, Mr. Travers. How do you do? Miss Matlock? How do you do? Just wanted to tell you about my good luck. I found the express money near the scene of the holdup. Well, that is good luck. Did you see any sign of the robbers? Well, uh, 
I can't make any promises right now, Mr. Matlock, but I hope to have the shadow and his gang behind the bars in a very few days. Well, my boy, I certainly wish you luck. But I'm afraid that never can happen. The shadow is clever. His men are the most desperate criminals ever banded together. How do you know? Why, uh, from the cold-blooded manner in which they operate. Oh, I see. But I still think I can do it. Well, I certainly hope you do. Will you excuse me a moment? I suppose you're glad to be home again, Miss Madlock. Well, this isn't exactly my home. In fact, it's the first time I've seen the place. You see, my father and Uncle Matt owned this ranch. And two years ago, Dad was killed. I inherited his hat. Uncle Matt has offered to buy me out. He says this is no place for a woman. Oh. He says strange things happen here at night. There are only the three of us, old Jake, Uncle Matt, and myself. <laughs> I'm almost afraid. Hello. The sheriff will soon be leaving Matlock's ranch. Wait for him at the crossroads. There's a girl at the ranch. No harm must come to her, but scare her away tonight. All right. I'll have the boys attend to it. And don't be afraid to use it. I won't be. Won't you stay for dinner, Mr. Travers? No, thanks. I have to be going. I'll see you in the morning. Good day, Miss Madlock. Goodbye. Isn't he? Yeah. It's too bad that he's sheriff. I you skook em, big fun. You boys been a little too careless with your shooting irons. 
So we'll just send you up for attempted murder. We'll be out of here by noon tomorrow. Yeah? Well, thanks for the information. There must be a secret entrance. I distinctly heard a third voice. That's a funny place for a safe. Here it is. It's a fake safe. This must be where the shadow gives his orders from. Henry, watch each on with your hook. What do you think? They've hollowed out this old stump. This is where those mysterious shots came from. Through this hole, a man could cover the entire northern part of the street. We've got work to do tonight, Jack. The first thing is to find a cross-cut saw.
Good morning, Anita. Good morning, Uncle Matt. Did the disturbance bother you last night? Oh, not a bit. In fact, I rather enjoyed it. You should have seen these so-called ghosts run when I opened fire on them. Did you do that shooting? I certainly did, and I intend to keep on shooting. You know, Uncle Mac, I've decided not to sell. I think I'll stay right here and fight it out. Well, I, I admire your spirit, and if that's your decision, I'm with you. But your breakfast is ready. I must hurry to town. Goodbye. Goodbye. Morning, Sheriff. Good morning. The ranches are all here, as you ordered. Good. Ask them to stay off the main street until I'm ready. I got a surprise in store for them. Okay, Sheriff. We'll be waiting. Come on, Yak. Let's go. empty. Jack, watch the street like I told you. Come on, get going. I'm warning you now, do as I say or take the consequences. Now listen. He had men covering his trail. We couldn't get near him. Well, he's at his office now. Get him out in the middle of the street. The mole is wait. At 11 this morning, I personally will head the boys into town. Machine gun will be under the straw of the covered wagon. We'll cover one end of the street and the boys the other. We'll take the bank for a cleaner. You'll take your position in the stump. Get going. Take off your hat. Put this one on. Take off that scarf. You're not going to send me out there, are you? You guessed it. But I got the stump covered, so I guess you'll be all right. Get moving. Keep eye on stump. Take it easy, Parker. Don't move. One chance to live. Who's the shadow? Oh, don't you. I'll tell. I'll tell. It's...
We just missed the shadow, but he's coming back, he and his gang. They have a machine gun and they intend to wipe out the town. What's to be done? We'll fight. All right. They must never reach town. We'll surprise them and head them off. Pick up all the men you can and let every rider wear a white cloth around his head so we can distinguish ourselves from the outlaws. Get your guns and we'll all meet at Red Gulch. Men, I was sent here from Washington. And I'm swearing you all in as deputy marshals. Today you're riding the United States government. Everyone raise his right hand. You solemnly swear? It just doesn't seem possible. But it's true, Miss Anita. The night your dad brought your uncle from the east was the night this man and his gang raided the ranch. Both your dad and uncle were killed. He took all your uncle's papers and his clothes and passed himself off in town as Matt Matlock. The sheriff must know about this, Jake. I'm going to tell him right now. Jack here will signal us from that mountain when they're coming. We'll let them get by us and then attack them from the rear. Now everybody scatter and stay hidden. Boys, ready? Yes. Well, there's no time to lose. Who's that coming? It's that fool girl. Stop her. Take her to the hideout. Wagon, Pat. I reckon the sheriff won't do much shooting with her in there. Stand ready with that machine gun. Stand ready, men. They're coming.
Well, now, what's happened to you, young fella? Daddy, now you are. Jack and Papoose have high you skookum fun. You'll get a lot more than high you skookum fun if you don't leave our child alone. <laughs>